Especially uh, if you want to conquer Japanese women who are not who is not very has an experience abroad, you know, like a traditional Japanese girl, it's better to give her space and uh, you know let her talk and make her comfortable, and uh, also don't show that uh, you like Asian women or you, <laughs> you know it, you have to show that. Uh, I only like you, you know. It's like uh, not the Asian woman as uh, in general. So, yeah. Welcome to this new video. They got we for these videos. Everything will be in English. So it's normal if I will make a mistake. Okay, it's my first uh, videos. I'm so happy because today I'm with uh, Je suis Nena. Coucou. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, how are you doing today? Uh, good. Okay, yeah. cool. So Nena, uh, maybe you don't know, but it's uh, the girlfriend of Kevin, le Japon noir et blanc. Okay, les gars. So uh, she's really a real Japanese. How do you say? Japanese is Japanese. English. Oh, okay, Japanese. <laughs> uh, can you can you say something in Japanese? Uh, konnichiwa, hajimemashite, Nena desu. Kyo wa onegai shimasu. Okay, super. Hey, what do you what do what does that mean? Uh, what did I say? Hi yeah. guys, nice to meet you. I'm Nena. Yeah. yeah. This is what I said. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So, um, I wanted to make uh, these videos because Today they are um, with Kevin uh, in Colombia, in Com Colombia, and um, and I just wanted to uh, to make a videos about the Japan. Okay, so I will ask her different questions about the Japan to know to know more about Japan, and because you know, if you are uh, watching my videos, it's because you like everything about business and travel. So Japan is some, it's a country we don't know a lot about that so i will ask her some question and uh, she will help uh, us to understand more about the japan right okay so what do you like in japan and what do you uh, like less in japan okay uh, what like what i like the most about japan is a uh, fast service fast service and also high quality and cheap uh, restaurants yeah, you go out and you can eat uh, Japanese food, uh, Italian food, Chinese food, uh, everything for less than four euros, and you can get the real food. And if it's in Europe, it's uh, expensive, right? At least you gotta pay ten euros to have a real meal, except for kebab or tacos. So yeah, this is a point I like the most. And uh, the points I don't like is. Uh, the society with uh, peer pressure. So like people don't like to be different from others. And uh, yeah, appearance and the way of thinking and this I feel sometimes uh, oppressed. Yeah. Okay, okay. And what do you mean when you say uh, uh, that I want every, everybody need to be the same? Need to be the same, yeah, the, the style like a fashion taste or hairstyle or tone of skin, you know, things like that. Okay, yeah. and if you are not like that, uh, they you just like they want to um, to they put pressure on you. Mm, you could get the booty, or it's just uh, they're just gonna see you like oh she's different, you know, like it's not. Uh, Japan, Japan, 99% uh, are Japanese, so it's not very common to see people with other race com compared to France or United States. So, yeah. What cultural difference have you noticed between Japan and Europe? Um, I think there are a lot of differences, but the biggest one would be discussion culture, and I think Europeans lo love to discuss and uh, love to have a uh, different opinions. So for example, I would say A, but the other person would say like, no, it's B, it's B, because, uh, because of blah, blah, blah. But in Japan, it's, if you are in Japan and uh, want to make friends, it's better to say, 
Uh, uh, yeah, I think so too. Like uh, I think it's A, because if you oppose too much, people are gonna look at you like, uh, oh why, you know, why this person want to oppose me so much? Yeah. So this is the biggest uh, difference. Yeah. So the, they don't like uh, argue. No, if you argue like French people, people are gonna see you as a, you know, like, like hateful person. Uh, like you are rude or rude, yes. Uh -huh. mm, like uh, like Kevin, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. He likes, he likes uh, to argue, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you show, you know, if he shows uh, his uh, real characteristic, probably like Japanese people will see him like, uh, oh, wh what happened to you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, and uh, did did he uh, argue in uh, uh, in Japan? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like in my case, I prefer to discuss and uh, not to be opposed necessarily, but uh, to discuss and uh, talk about uh, differences and stuff. So, like when he talks to me in this way, it didn't bother me. But for example, like he talks to my mother's generation, and if he does that, maybe you know they're gonna be like, uh, oh, he's kind of you know strong. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, mm, how how are foreigners seen in Japan? Um, I would say it's uh, different. Uh, I mean, depends on the types of a foreigner. Uh, as long as you are like quiet and uh, you know obeying the Japanese rules. People are gonna just uh, appreciate you or just don't care. You know, Japanese people don't really care about others. They they are not gonna watch you, like stare at you like uh, you know Colombian people. But yeah, but if you are like uh, in the group and uh, being loud or putting loud music, no people are gonna say like, oh, the foreigners are so loud. You know, I don't like them. Yeah. Mm. And. Uh there, there, there do a uh, difference between French people or from uh, people from United States or not? I mean, you mean that uh, people can see the difference? Yeah. Uh, it's difficult, I think, because uh, most of the time uh, people talk to Kevin or they say like, uh, oh, you are from uh, America, you, you know, you are American. And uh, after that, uh, he says like he's from France, okay, it's cool. But uh, I don't think there's a huge difference mm -hmm. for them, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And is there any racism in Japan? Like for black people, for example? Uh, I mean, in my opinion, there's no country without the racism or certain types of a discrimination. But like particularly for black people, I don't think... I can't say because I'm not a black, mm -hmm. so I can't uh, talk, you know, for, for them. But um, for me, if you are white or black, it doesn't matter in Japan. Mm -hmm. okay. If there is a racism, there is also for white people, there is also for black people, and it's the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because you are black, I don't think they're gonna look at you like, oh, he's a black. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's because it's interesting because there are not a lot. I think there are not a lot of foreigner, black in particular, in uh, Japan. So it's so surprising that uh, mm -hmm. they don't uh, they don't see the difference. Like for them, it's like the same. You are you are, you are just a foreigner. Yeah, it's like uh, you're foreigner. I mean, Western foreigners or Asian foreigners. Oh, wow. It's like Chinese, uh, Cambodian, Vietnamese, or white, black, Arabic, they're all the same. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Is it common to have mixed uh, couple in uh, Japan? Um, it's not common, common. Like, uh, but I would say it's more common than in uh, Colombia. Colombia, I don't think uh, you can see a lot of uh, mixed couple or interracial couples. But if you go to a big city in Tokyo or in, uh, in Osaka, it's a big city, you, yeah, you see some, uh, maybe if you are walking uh, one day, maybe you can see three, four, five yeah, oh, yeah. interracial couple. But mostly uh, Japanese women and uh, white men. Okay. Yeah. 
someone like uh, me and Kevin, it's not very yet yet common. Yeah. yeah. Black and uh, mm -hmm. and Japan. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And and how are mixed couples seen in Japan? Mm -hmm. Is a good things or the bad things? Mm. It's it's hard to say, but yeah. it's. But in your opinion. Um, people never look at me bad just because uh, I'm with Kevin. Like we are not very like uh, how do you say. Is it, what is it, Kaikokujin uh, phobia? Uh, no, we are not against... Um, yeah, uh, we... It, we don't have any phobia for foreigners. Yeah, okay. we don't have phobia for foreigners. So, yeah, they're just gonna say like, uh, oh, probably she likes uh, foreigners or like, uh, you know, some... If somebody wants to judge people, you know, this type of uh, people, oh, yeah, yeah. maybe they might think that uh, oh, maybe she likes uh, black guys or, you know, foreigners, but uh, no. Okay. In general, they're just gonna, they mind their business, they don't care about us, you know. Mm, yeah. Interesting, oh, it's just, they just don't care. They don't care, yeah. Yeah, they just do uh, their life and that's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, is the life expensive in Japan compared to Europe and USA? Uh, I would say it's cheaper. It's uh, way cheaper. Uh, there is myth that uh, Japan is so expensive. Uh, restaurants, rent, everything is expensive. But in my opinion, it, uh, the rent is expensive just in the center of Tokyo. And uh, very few people can afford to live in there. Or like uh, even if I can afford, I don't want to live there because uh, it's too busy. I prefer to live a bit far Yokohama or a bit uh, you know like one hour uh, one hour away from uh, Tokyo. And uh, yeah, and also as I said in the beginning, restaurants are very cheap, and uh, supermarket are cheap. Uh, yeah, and uh, I think United States is expensive mm -hmm. when it comes to medical fee, ex especially. Mm -hmm. So I I would say Japan is way cheaper than in Europe or United States. It's it's. Uh, can you compare the cheaper like uh, in um, in Thailand, for example? Thailand is uh, another level cheap okay. because uh, yeah. Japan is uh, considered as a developed country still, I think. Yeah. Thailand is uh, very cheap, probably like a half or maybe 30% of the cost you can live in there, probably. Okay. But yeah, among a developed country, Japan is cheap. Do Japanese people appreciate foreigners? Uh, sadly, it uh, depends on types. Uh, depends on types, I would say. It's, it's hard to say this from me, but if you are Chinese people, Korean people, some people don't like, you know, historically or politically, it's, uh, it's hard. It's always like this, you know, neighbor country, it's always uh, have a, you know, uh, difficult relationship. Mm -hmm. But if you're from uh, Western countries or uh, Americans or as long as they behave themselves, yeah, we do appreciate, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And the most important part, so right now, mm -hmm. arrived, guys, I know you want to know, uh, want to know that about relationship, women in Japan. I'm here for you, guys. <laughs> it's your boy, Jonathan. Um, how are women in Japan? How are women in Japan? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, For example, in Colombia, the girls, they are feminine, they're really orient family oriented, uh, they like to take care about, um, with uh, their men. Uh, I would say uh, younger generation are changing. Okay. Like for example, me and Kevin, Kevin often cooks. Mm -hmm. But for example, in my parents' case, my father works full time and my mother is uh, cooking and uh, cleaning at, the, at home and sometimes uh, she's working part time job. So it, it's more like this, you know. Uh, and also my mother really take care of me a lot. So it's like 
A man is uh, going out to work, and a uh, woman is caring about uh, inside the house and uh, children, and yeah. Okay, so it's like uh, it's like like in Europe. Um, Europe, I heard women want to be more independent oh, and okay. uh, right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of feminists. Uh, yeah, yeah. But in Japan, I think younger generation is becoming more and more like this. But traditionally, yeah, women take care of uh, inside and uh, yeah. What advice can you uh, give for a foreigner who want to date a Japanese girl? Um. I would say you have to know how to talk and uh, like I said in the beginning, Japanese women will not uh, like someone that's speaking too much. I mean speaking too much, I mean like uh, don't care about her opinion. It's like uh, oh in my country, in my opinion, in my family, blah blah blah, it doesn't like. So let her talk and uh, like this. Uh, you know, she will be more comfortable talking with you because uh, I found that uh, many foreigners love to talk, you know, you know, love to talk too much and uh, Japanese people are a bit shy, they say, so, you know, a bit feel like, okay, okay, he's speaking a lot. So, especially uh, if you want to conquer a Japanese woman who, are not, who is not very, has an experience abroad, you know, like a traditional Japanese girl, it's better to give her space and, uh, you know, let her talk and make her comfortable. And uh, also don't show that uh, you like Asian women or, you, <laughs> you know, it, you have to show that uh, I only like you, you know. It's like uh, not Asian women as uh, in general, so, yeah. And, and generally the, the, the Japanese women like um, foreigner or not really? It's, there are two types. One type of uh, Japanese women don't fucking care about the foreigners. It's like they just want a Japanese guy. And even if this uh, foreigner, the white guy or black guy, is a very good looking, best looking in the world, it, it's out of sight. But another type is that uh, you know, it's like even if uh, this uh, foreigner guy is ugly, as long as he speaks uh, English or some, uh, you know, West Westerner, mm -hmm. yeah, they want to date. So there are two types. So <laughs> it depends. Huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. So my last question for Nina, uh, I mean, it will be really hard to speak only in English, man. <laughs> but you, can, you see, I, I, I show you the example. If you do nothing, you can accomplish nothing. You need to start, okay? So, uh, how do you seduce Kevin? Me? Yes, I don't know. Ah, you, okay. <laughs> Me, I did seduce. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you seduce Kevin. Oh. No, no, which? <laughs> which? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, we, we seduce each other, no? <laughs> okay. Act like he is not here, okay? okay? So... How did, how did Kevin seduce you? And me personally, I'm attracted to someone's characteristic or way of thinking or his talk and uh, more than someone's appearance or, you know, things like this. And uh, the first time I met him, we are like this talking and uh, we talked for hours and we talked about a lot of, uh, you know, deep things, you know. Okay. And uh, this thing, I think uh, I was attracted because he had his way of thinking and I think uh, our way of thinking, uh, it, there's some few difference, but it was uh, interesting, you know, there was a, uh, as a general, it matched. And, uh, and another big thing is that uh, foreigners especially tend to um, say compliments about my appearance on the first sight. And, uh, me, uh, me um, I would appreciate it, but I would be like, okay, okay, thank you. And, uh, but he didn't say this. He didn't know anything about my appearance. And uh, I wasn't really sure that uh, he was uh, attracted to me. And this uh, uncertain, uncertainty was good mm -hmm. also. And um, 
also um, foreigners in general they uh, I don't know they watch a lot about like a lot of uh, body like a woman's body like uh, like this mm -hmm. and I would say that I would feel uh, uncomfortable if I feel this right it's like oh he just wants my body mm -hmm. but <laughs> but Kevin he didn't see that or he at least he didn't show that uh, he was watching mm -hmm. you know like I remember like I was in a summer restaurant and I was walking and he was there there was a mirror and I checked but he wasn't watching me so I was like oh okay maybe he's serious or maybe you know he he's just attracted to my personality not because of my appearance so this this was more like uh, make me confident. Okay. Yeah. So maybe he saw there a mirror. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, so it was my last question. Thank yeah. you, uh, yeah. Nena, Thank you. Uh, to uh, to uh, to come in my uh, in my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, thumbs up. Is it good? Yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see, man, I improvise. Yeah. So, thumbs up. Um, let's uh, comment. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, um, and um, see you later, guys. Do you want to say uh, another thing? Uh, thank you for today. And make sure to follow my YouTube channel, Nena Sekai. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, everything will be in the description. Right. So, <laughs> ciao. Ciao. <laughs>